I just, you know, the most important thing that I want to say today to the, these parents, and there's four T's that I, I want to give you today in raising your kids. I plan on getting to that. I'll try to do it with brevity. But the most important thing is to really teach your child loving God is the most important thing. And loving God is not simply a statement. Loving God is not uh, simply a recognition but it's a life that surrender because the only thing that matters is that that child is raised with the awareness of the presence of God that they learn to develop a heart to seek after him they have to be taught to seek after the Lord because there's nothing more important than the soul of an individual and the Bible teaches us there's no future for the sinner when he dies. So if you teach your child righteousness, you're going to give them a future. But if you teach your child simply the independence of doing what you're wanting to do and to live a secularized life, what you're going to do, you're going to sacrifice them on the altar of your own selfishness and neglect. Proverbs chapter 11, verse number 7 and 8. When a wicked man dies, his expectations shall perish, and the hope of the unjust man perishes. There is no future for the person that rejects Jesus. There is no future for the person that exempts having a relationship with God. Your life is just here on this earth. That's it. But the person that embraces the values of God, the person that chooses to say, I'm going to be planted in the house of the Lord. I promise you, you got a future in this life and the life to come. Amen. Verse number 8 says, The righteous is delivered out of trouble, and the wicked cometh in his stead. A righteous person will always experience the delivering power of God. Verse number 18 says, The wicked worketh a deceitful work. But to him that soweth righteousness shall be a sure reward. The wicked, the wicked living a, a lifestyle that's, that's immoral, living a lifestyle that uh, totally twists and perverts the life of God, the word of God, creating these ideas that totally violate the word of God and offend his holy precepts and the word of God. It, it says here that deception is the practice of their life. It's important because we live in a society today that because they've had sinful desires, they've doubted God and they stepped into deception. They've had sinful desires, they doubted God and they stepped into great deception. And the Bible speaks about that in this generation that we see the invention of evil things. It says, but to him that soweth righteousness shall be a sure reward. Him that soweth righteousness. Righteousness is an investment. That when you practice the word of God and you teach that to your children, what you're doing, you are making an investment every single day. You're making a deposit. You can't expect the withdrawal in the future if you've not made the investment. So his hands is joined to hand, the wicked shall not be unpunished. Watch this. But the seed of the righteous, the uncompromising righteous, shall be delivered. And so the scripture says that if a person chooses to live their life simply by the perversions of this society, simply by the sin inclinations of this society, he says you're not going to go unpunished. But if you choose to sow righteousness and you make that investment, it doesn't matter how they steer and what direction that they go. It says eventually the seed of the righteous will be delivered. How does God deliver someone that has had godly parents and yet they are deeply in sin? How does God deliver them? He delivers them by the word that has been invested over and over in that child's life. As they heard the word of God and that investment was being made in their hearts, 
Love the Lord Jesus Christ with all your heart, mind, body. And so as they heard that, be faithful to the house of God. Don't abandon the house of God, but make sure you're a part of the house of God. As they heard that, as they saw that, serve in the kingdom of God. Watch mom and dad serve in the kingdom of God. Watch us make our priorities in the kingdom of God. When you spend time coming together in prayer and you pray as a family, not just over meals, but pray as a family and you take time to read a scripture, you're making an investment. It's that very scripture that it doesn't matter the decisions that they make. It doesn't matter that it becomes dormant. There will come a time where you have a promise, the Bible says in the word of God. That the seed of the righteous will be delivered. Those that have made the investment of righteousness in their children. Their children will be de de uh, delivered. But if you didn't make the investment, there can be no deliverance.